Hello and welcome in this presentation of the starter suits for Genesis 2 females. The goal of this presentation is first to show you the content included in this product and then to explain you rapidly how to uh, export, modify and re-import it back into DAS Studio. So first I have loaded my character here. here. My character, which is Genesis 2 female, female, the base. And I am going to where I have installed my content. So, so that's starter suits, props, VA3D, Genesis 2 female starter suits. You have here five elements, which are going to help you to develop your own outfits for Genesis 2 females. You have a dress, a full body suit, pants large, pants tight, and a pullover. Let's begin, for instance, with the bread dress. You double click on it. It's not confirming since it is only a base match in order for you to export it in a 3D modeler. Okay, you can have a look at the wire shaded mesh in order to see the loops and the topology of it. Okay, and the thing is that this, all these elements have in their parameters, something called morphs. And they have Gia morph, Teen Josie, the girl six, and Victoria six morph. For instance, let's take Genesis 2 female. And as an actor, uh, people real world, let's, uh, let's apply Victoria six, which is uh, one, of the most, um, one of the most used characters. So here you see the dress. You take the dress, go in Morph, and apply Victoria 6, okay? And come back to Texture Shaded. Now the dress is fitting perfectly to Victoria 6. Same thing, for instance, for the full body suits. Double click on it, select the full body suits, go in Parameters, and apply Victoria 6. So now let's come on how to use it. Uh, first, I'm going to choose what I want to do. I want to do um, a little outfit for a Teen Josie, for instance. So I'm going to People Real World and activate Teen Josie, disactivate uh, Victoria 6. Okay. And I want it to be a kind of a dress. So I take, I load my dress, check my dress. I can go in parameters, but I I can go, go also uh, in shaping. Uh, I don't know uh, if it's okay in all the versions. You can check if it's shaping, otherwise you will find a morph in parameters. It's the same. Uh, not Victoria, but Teen Josie. Okay. Uh, then you have to export everything in, um, in a 3D model. So you can uh, choose the 3D model you want. Uh, you can directly send everything uh, in hexagon or ZBrush, for instance. Take care of one thing, that these outfits have been created for this resolution of characters. If you, che if you check, if you choose, sorry, Genesis 2 female, and you ch change the resolution, then it's going to fit Okay, it's it's you see holes in the outfits. It's not, I have created the outfits for the default load resolution of the characters. So uh, sometimes if you export the characters but you change the resolution of the characters during the export, then you will see holes in the outfits. Okay, so uh, let's come back to our standard resolution. Okay, that's the default load of the character. You see, here I'm. I'm using only the character. So all elements of outfits have been designed for the default resolution load of the characters. Okay, uh, that's what uh, that uh, that is what made the more sense. So now, if I want, for instance, to export everything to ZBrush, one thing, one tip is to parent directly this to Genesis to female. Click there and make send to ZBrush. I'll show you just afterwards how to make it on uh, um, for an export in external softwares. Here there is a bridge. I'll show you how to do this when there is no bridge. 
So it's opening that brush. Okay. Uh, what I have chosen as my, I must be in the base resolution. I'm going to preferences goes clear cache files. Okay. Close my set brush. And I'm going to take Genesis to female, send to set brush, add current resolution. That's what I had forgotten to do. At current resolution, that's why under that brush there was hole in the characters. I prefer clearing my cache files in order to be sure that I'm working exactly with the version that I'm sending to that brush. Okay, you see, you see uh, the the machine uh, in that brush here. You can say see it in polyframe and transparency to see how it fits the character and. Um, ZBrush is not really my favorite modeling software. It's more sculpting software that I that I'm using in the last steps of an outfit development. Uh, so it was just for to show you um, that uh, it was better uh, to export uh, when it's parented at, at current resolution. Okay, let's close ZBrush and see it now to do in any external soft three D software. So the first thing I'm going to do is to unparent this and hide Genesis 2 female. Why hiding? Because uh, when you hide a character, you, you in, uh, in the studio you export only what you see. So if you want to export on the one part the dress and on the other part the, the reference character, then you have to hide respectively the one and the other one. So let's do file, export, export as an OBG, and we are going to export, uh, let's call Josie, Josie Dress 1, okay. Uh, so I'm used to work uh, with the configuration which, which works pretty fine everywhere. It's poser, uh, poser base export. Here you have uh, many uh, possibilities. I always choose poser and generally I choose the default, okay. I'm going to hide the dress and show the base character and make an export and export uh, Josie base. Okay, this is the base character. And uh, for instance, I'm going to show you what you can do in Blender, but you can do this in many 3D modeling software. So I'm going to make an import reference OBG. Um, it's not a poser tutorial. Uh, oh, it's not. Sorry, it's not a Blender tutorial. It's it's uh, just uh, to show you how to do this. For instance, uh, what what you can do. For instance, on Blender, I'm choosing the um, in the, the 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 directory I have exported my suit. I'm choosing this uh, these um, these uh, parameters. Sorry, uh, in order to to be able to to import uh, my objects. Uh, with uh, the same vertex order as in uh, the studio and uh, without be being separated in polygroups. So I'm taking, first I'm importing the dress, okay, and then I'm importing the base character. Uh, it has remembered the, the presets that I have used as import uh, parameters. So it's importing, it's a, it's, it's a bit heavier, okay. Okay, so we have it. Here's the dress and here is below the character. Why importing the character? It's because sometimes when you modify the dress, you, you have a tendency to, um, to, uh, to move the, ver the vertex in the character. So I'm going first to uh, separate. Okay, here you have a first loop. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to make a t-shirt, uh, a slight t-shirt. Okay, so I'm I'm deleting this. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to delete this loop too. Sorry, framing. Alt, right click to select, delete X vertices. Okay, uh, I don't want to keep all these elements, so I'm selecting them. And Control plus plus, deleting X, the vertices. Okay, and I want a pretty short 
uh, skirts, it's the English name, I think. Yes, it's skirts. Okay, I'm deleting vertis ver vertices and I'm re removing everything I want. Uh, uh, okay, that's it. The, so we have already transformed our base mesh into, um, into something more uh, convenient. No, I'm going to delete this one too. Let's try to delete the three of them. Okay, it's pretty fine. And I'm going also to delete the last vertex. So you see the topology is clean enough. Uh, maybe well, this one is clean enough in order for you to select uh, pretty rapidly uh, the loops that you want to, to remove. So uh, now let's, um, what are we going to do? Something a little bit uh, asymmetrical. Uh, with a proportional editing here, I'm going to grab along z this way, okay, okay, this way for instance, and now I'm just going to grab a little bit along x and here along y, okay, and we have already changed our shape. Here I want something closer to the body, so I'm going to scale in the in uh, the different axis scale y oh uh, it's scale y scale y and grab y a little bit okay and front view scale x okay and here you see we are touching the character so i'm going to use a sculpt mode okay with a little strength here in order to put it out of the character. I can do it on both sides. Um, or I can mirror. I can delete one part of my mesh and okay, a little bit stronger. And mirror it. Okay, here we are we are just out of the character. So uh, the interest here is that it's already UV mapped. Uh, N and T Okay, here you can see the UV, UV map once uh, I have destroyed everything, otherwise the UV map is much larger since so it, it, it's including, sorry, all the dress. Okay, uh, if you keep it like that, the advantage is that you're keeping your UV map. Um, anyway, uh, you can um, go back to default. You can, for instance, select this vertex here and delete it and afterwards mirror it and the so but the 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 skirts will be this shape around here so if you have a perfect symmetrical element for, for instance here the t-shirt you can uh select i am yes this remove all this and and recreate a perfectly symmetrical yes that's it I'm going to separate by doing P, separate selection, okay? And here I can make a mirror, for instance, to be uh, sure that I'm working. Uh, there's something I've forgotten. It's to go to the object mode and make a control A uh, location, control A rotation and scale. It's in order for Blender to, uh, to be sure that we are well... Um, that we are well in a, in a mirror mode, well placed in the mirror mode. Let's call this mirror. Okay, so that if you grab, for instance, you see, uh, if you change the shape, it changed both sides. The, the, the advantage is that basically you were mirrored, so you win time. But um, the problem is that you're losing, okay, you're, you lose your, um, your symmetry. So um, when it, when you apply afterwards your symmetry, of course you can uh, make a UV symmetry. But the problem is that uh, let's apply it for instance and go back to UV editing. It's that okay, it's symmetrical, but it's disconnected. So you have to reconnect afterwards. But this is Blender specific. Uh, I don't think that uh, it is uh, the same thing for all the software. I'm going to undo a few levels. Okay, I hope I can go back. Oh, I cannot go back enough. Okay, so um, I cannot go back enough and I don't want to remake this. Uh, this is the mirrored 
Okay. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to mirror it. Anyway, it's not for me to make a clause. It's for you to explain how to make it. So let's apply it and check if uh, if it has merged the vertices. Yes, the center vertices are merged. So uh, we we were repairing our skirt. It's a very difficult word for me. I'm sorry, skirt. Um, we're using a sculpt mode. Okay, mm, let's make it a little bit stronger. Oh, it's too strong. Okay, here it's faster. Okay, and here maybe a little relax of. Uh, let's make a relax of parallels too. Okay, so we you have the base of your dress. Maybe you want to create a belt. So, for instance, you can uh, you can duplicate this, okay, by sh uh, Shift D, I think, in Blender, and you can separate the selection, okay. And if I'm hiding uh, here in my menu, I have here my belt which has been created, and now I can shape it, for instance, by uh, giving it a little bit of thickness. Um, so thickness, I'm going to hide, I'm going to hide this, okay, it is just, it is not the right one, belt thickness, uh, thickness is here, okay, thickness to the outside, for instance, okay, uh, <coughs> and let's apply it, and let's see everything, uh, shift, hide, alt, hide, okay. And in the belt, I'm going to create a new material called belt. Okay, so as you see, the base mesh can help you to make um, to make um, what do I mean? Many different elements. You, you, you. We we started with a large, a long, a very long dress, and now we already have a little skirt and the belt and uh, so on. So now if you want to give a nicer, oh, sorry. So if you want to give a nicer aspect to the skirt, I'm going to keep a, a save version, save version that I'm going to move to another layer. Okay, if you want to keep um, the same, if you want to, to sculpt a little bit more, one of my advice would be to, to make a subsurface of uh, this element and going after, after that to a sculpt, um, a sculpt mode, okay, with uh, maybe a small inflate. Mm. No, uh, just, a, just not an inflate, just a sculpt and draw. And you can, okay, you can begin to shape it this way, you see, but it is just an example uh, of what you can do. Try to to keep the the shapes of the body maybe a little stronger, ah, but not too strong. Okay, so I try not to to move uh, the top. Oh. I have moved the top on it. Not to change too much the top on it, since I won't have to watch to um, to re um, <coughs> rejoin the belt and the dress. So um, the the belt will have the same. If if I remove uh, if I remove the subsurface, you see it's not uh, beautiful. It shows you what you need. Uh, can I undo this? Oh. Uh, subsurface. Okay, uh, you you have to keep a surf, surf, subsurface um, a subdivision uh, higher in order to uh, to have nice folds, for instance. Okay, and here I'm going to detach a little bit the uh, the skirt. Okay, and that's just, just r very rough, very rapid sculpting. I'm going to make the same surf surface division here and I apply also this one and if I'm lucky when I'm joining these two ones I will be able to ah, would it be possible to um, where is it um, remove the bars okay so it has no it has joined uh, back the two meshes probably not 
it has not done it. Okay, so I'm going to select this loop and this loop and bridge them. Uh, bridge, 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 two edge loops. Okay. So now we have a little skirt. Okay, with a with a, a little belt and um, and maybe we want uh, this belt to be um, to be. Sh it's not a belt, of course. It's in, it's on the breast, but it, it can it can be also sh shown here. So let's select this loop and this loop, and same Shift D in order to duplicate this part of the mesh. P in order to separate the selection, and it's appearing here and. Uh, let's call it belt recall just to be a little bit uh, more beautiful. A belt recall here, and uh, we are going to give the same material. Uh, sorry, this delete these materials, and I'm going to take belt. Okay, so you you have it. Uh, you have a, a kind of vertical symmetry or something like that. Uh, if you don't want to shape it, you can. Um, we can up. Join back the belt recall. Let's not join back the belt and belt recall. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, it's because I don't have. I have forgotten to give thickness to it. So I'm going to give thickness, thickness, thickness. It's cold. It's cold. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to solidify. It's called solidify here, and I want to see it here. And. Uh, whoa, 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 slowly. Okay. Uh, even thickness, high quality normals, and fill rim. I don't see the fill rim. Okay, I see the fill rim. Okay. And um, let's apply it. And now we are going to join these two elements and remove the doubles. Okay. Uh, and that's. Okay, that's uh, that's a beginning. Um, maybe we can shape a little bit around the breast. So for that, I'm gonna take this point, take a side view, and see the mesh, and I'm going to grab a long Y. Mm, I'm gonna take several points. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, um, see through. Grab a long Y and go this way and go back just in a sculpt mode in order to close the holes. Okay, close the holes. Okay, it's a little bit closer to the body. Um, you can you can make it even closer. I'm it's a central point. Okay, and grab it there. Mm, not that much, just there. And just a little bit of sculpt. Okay, now it's tighter to the body, and um, and maybe these vertices uh, we can give them um, uh, the color of the base, the base, the base, the main, the main parts, and these elements we can give them the color of the belt. Okay, and. Um, so we don't need this one anymore, and uh, oh, it's complicated to save it. Um, and okay, it's just how you turn your dress in um, in a little uh, in a little outfit for for Teen Josie. Okay, it's maybe a little bit short. Uh, if you want to make uh, some um, underwear, you can use the pants. Uh, okay, and now we are going to export it. So go back to object mode. File, export, refront obg. Okay, let's call it top v01. Okay, and as a preset, I, ch I choose two poser, and two poser is the selection only with the UV and the materials with the polygroup and by keeping the vertex order. So I export the top, I select the skirt, and I make an export obg to poser, and it's the Skirts version version oh, oh, one version one export obg okay and um, now we are going to come back in the studio so let's come back in the studio in the studio we had genesis two females with uh, 
Tinjo's Morph and the dress with Tinjo's Morph. We can remove the dress and since we are going to import uh, where we have exported them from Blender, we are going to import um, the skirts. And what is important is here is to keep the uh, poser unit since we exported it as in the poser unit. We, we keep this unit as an import option. You keep this as it is. It's the default. It's the good way to import it. Okay, it's there. And we are going to import it the same way. Uh, the top, the little top and accept. Oh, oh, this is beautiful, but you're going to tell me it's not a uh, close. No, it's not a close. So um, the initial step is to let uh, the studio do his job by choosing Josie figure transfer utility Genesis 2 female uh, skirt from the current sh shape to the current shape and now uh, anywhere we, we, we are we going to choose something dresses let's okay let's take let's take uh, knee length okay and show option we are going to reverse the source shape from target and add smoothing modifier and fit source to figure and let's try it this way let's try and okay this was the this was the shirt so we you have still uh, some modifications to make but uh, it's uh, it's confirming okay i'm zoring my figure and i am Going to do the same for the t-shirt, edit figure transfer utility, Genesis 2 for the top in the current shapes. Uh, what do I have here? Um, well, let's take a full body. And uh, reverse, no, sorry, reverse uh, with a smoothing modifier. And here you see there is a problem in the vertex, in the vertices. But after that, this is the job of the outfit creator uh, to uh, to repair all this problem. I think it's a topology problem uh, at the beginning. Uh, what if I go back in uh, in poser? I'm going to hide Josie, 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 Josie. Where is she? Hide, hide her, hide her. And okay, it's because I, I think I probably have uh, removed some vertices. How, what can I do? I can select this loop and delete the faces only. Is it better this way? And remove the doubles. Okay, there is no, there are no doubles. And uh, do I need this one, uh, this loop here? What is it? It's, ah, I have to, to keep this, but I can, for instance, I can, I can bevel it. Um, please bevel. Uh, with three and this way. Okay. So uh, let's try for another export. Export right now. It's version two of this. Uh, no, it's not the skirt, it's the top. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's zero the pose. Delete this one. Import. Uh, no BG, the second top. Okay, the second top is there, and let's try to see if it's better with the new topology as their current shapes and reverse add smoothing modifier. Okay, it's better. So uh, after that, you will have a lot of modifications to make in order for in, in order for the the outfit to 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 for instance not to make this effect here. You see here, there is a fold. It's because you have to adjust the weight map that were created by default, um, and uh, so you 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 have you still have work to do as a, as a, an outfit content content creator. Uh, but uh, you see, these base meshes allow you to win a lot of time. Okay, and uh, the studio with the what we call the figure transfer utility allow you allows you also to win a lot of time, but you still have job to do when, and, uh, and um, it's something that you you learn uh, and you you find um you'll ask on the forum and people will help you. Okay, oh, except for the ones who already know how to do that. Well, that was all. That uh, this little. Uh, 
it's uh it's, i like it yeah. so um i hope that you are going to have a lot of fun with uh this starter suits uh, no sorry refresh uh it's it's a pretty slow when i have all my softwares open okay so you can uh, use the dress to, to create that, or the full body uh, uh, to create whatever you want, finally. The pants, large for pants or um, shorts, I think it's shorts, the English name. The, it's a kind of outfit that ends uh, at the tight level. Uh, you have uh, these tight uh, pants and you have a pullover for all your t-shirts. So that was all. Uh, thank you for watching this little presentation on how what what is included in the starter suits and how to use it uh, rapidly in a 3D modeling software or, and uh, re-import it in the studio. Um, I hope that you're going to have a lot of fun and that you're going to be very creative. And I hope that I will soon see all your creations in uh, in uh, 3D stores. Well, have a nice day, everybody, and bye-bye.